Okay, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> so as I was saying, so this is part four now. <laughs> if I can get all the other guys back together and we can possibly refilm it or bring it to a full gone conclusion and maybe find another crew to join us to, to make the a second gen of it or whatever. You know, because 2010 was a long time ago and none of us have changed facially most of the time. And you know, if we could get everybody back together and refilm it and not have better instructions of where we can film and stuff, then that would be a little bit more on the, um, the solution of what we can do with it. Now, the thing is, if I had like Netflix budgets or whatever, I'd rebuild the whole thing from scratch, including the Path of Ascension. I'd add more things to it. I'd be able to do the things I want to do. However, I'm not that blessed to have any connection to Netflix or Hulu or any of that stuff. And if I could find that connection, or if you guys can find that connection, hey, send that shit my way. I'm ready to do this. The fire is back in my eyes. I'm ready to go. But I get complete and con creative control over everything that happens. I get to be the, the side director. I get to edit so I can show people what I intended to do versus what I had done. All right. So that being said, as I'm going to bring this to an end, I was talking about before um, I hit the wrong damn button because the screen went black. Um, as a fan, as, as, as a actor, as a fan, as a martial artist, I don't think that you're sitting in front of that TV for seven or eight episodes of whatever I filmed that you don't deserve to have a conclusion. I think that you deserve to have absolutely, positively a conclusion. Rather, it is a positive outcome or a negative outcome, depending on how the story is told. If the story is a tragedy from the beginning, you won't know it until the end if I'm telling the story. All right? So let me put that to you offbeat. If I know for a fact that the hero is going to die, all my other actors are going to know for a fact that the heroes are going to die. Or at least one hero specifically. I'm not going to um, follow the Marvel racket of wait, build up all this love for that hero and then kill him. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do that off the first, first bet. I can almost tell you that if I get a show and it has two seasons and that's all it's going to get, then maybe one or all the heroes will die for the greater good of mankind or we'll have one sole survivor and that will be determined, you know. And the thing with that is, this is how you build a fanship by letting people fall in love with the characters. They get in invested, but you don't want them to be so invested with the character that they become obsessed. But at the same time, you kind of do so that you keep working. And I would be honest with my, my cast and my crew and I would be honest with my fans, when you see the end of it, it will be a project well worth you investing yourself into. But if if it's going to lead to the hero dying, you will know that between the freaking third episode in and to the very last episode. We will probably drop Easter eggs. You know, it won't be like it, it won't be like um, him giving you clues of being in pain like Iron Man's arm or something else, it'll be more like, okay, maybe he'll have nightmares or maybe he'll always be talking to people and then they'll come up to him and say, you know, you don't look well. Or they'll, they'll drop in some line, like, okay, look, um, you want to talk to me about something? He's like, no, I'm fine. And, you know, because a lot of people use the words, I'm fine, and they die. On that note, I had an aunt. Her name was Murr. And... When I last spoke to her, not too long after her husband died, she told me she was fine. Within a week, she was gone. So, hints like that would be dropped. They would be subtle dropped, you know. But everybody would know. Everybody in, aboard the production and the acting and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm watching a squirrel and a groundhog eat bird food. So, you know, I would set it up so that you would invest in character, but if the character is going to die... I want you to get a heads up. I don't want it to be a slap in the face or have the character wounded in battle so bad that he gets out, but he doesn't go on to the next battle. And then you don't see him anymore because it'll be the motivation for the team to carry on and fight. Now, I'm one of those people. Yes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a strong believer in the Marvel concept of bringing people back from the dead or they just have that person as a ghost for oversight where... 
I would flash in and be like, D -d 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 -d. but I would I would be the character that flashes in at the wrong moment. Like you're battling and you're down to one knee, and then you 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 peer off and you'll see the character. He'll look this way, and then you'll see me, like, come on, come on, you know, the ghost that's cheering him from the dead. You have to do this. I'm not here. You have to step up. You know, something like that. And then the character gets his motivation and he gets up and he goes, boom. You know, it would be like that. It would be some conclusion to the show. You know, and if if I have to be like Obi-Wan Kenobi and talk to the characters while I'm long gone, it's like, so their next battle would happen, like, let's say their next battle happens, like, at my funeral. You know, so that would be like a thing. They're like, okay, so the bad guys are going to attack they killed our leader, and now they're not even letting us bury him. So they're going to attack at the funeral, which would be awesome and really hasn't been done. So, they, you know, those, those will be hints throughout the thing. Or uh, if I could go on a stretch and say, let's say, let's say I got all my guys back together and we um, decided to film and we opened, up the phone, the, the, we opened up the show with an actual funeral. You know, it's like, okay... So, we have Wynn, he's dead, he died in, in the battle, and then Dark Khan and the Guardians of the Earth put aside their differences because Wynn died saving Dark Khan so that all of us could understand why he saved Dark Khan, that kind of thing. You know, those are things that's been rolling in my head for a few years, but you know, if, if, if I could get all the guys back together and they were willing to do that, that would be great. Because I'm more than willing to get the tapes and start filming, you know. But that would that would be the thing to do, you know. Open up the show with the funeral. So did you know that the hero has already passed, and that everyone else is riding on that wave of sorrow to conquer the creatures, the aliens, whatever the hell it is that's coming back to fight them, if you would. So that would be the thing. If I ever got everything back together and if I decided that Win should be dead, which I don't want to do that because I win. But if, if, if that was the option, you know, given, and if I could get Netflix to like run with me or Hulu or somebody, it's like, okay, we're going to give you the show, buddy. How do you want to do it? It's done. It'll be done. I say, like, this is what my guys need. This is what we want. This is where we need to film so that people don't leave their families and stuff like that. We're ready to go. I'm James Williams Jr. Acting is a very complex thing. It is not as complex as it seems from the outside. And if you don't think that I'm giving you a good job, well, here's my advice. Go make a movie. See how easy or difficult it is for you. For me, it's pretty easy. The hard part is getting people to show up to actually film. The second hard part is finding location. And the hardest part of them all is getting it up to you. I'm James Williams Jr. Comfort Avenue number two. Be seeing you.